Hey everybody, my name is Tiffany. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. As you can tell by the title, I am going to go over with you a question from HackerRank. This one is specifically called Grading Students, and we're going to check it out and see how we can solve it. Always remember, this is just one explanation, and this is just uh, one way to go about solving it. So hopefully, if you are looking to solve this, or you're just trying to get better at just doing algorithms and coming up, uh, coming up with solutions. Hopefully this helps you. I am going to link the problem below in the description of this video. And then I'm also going to have the code on my GitHub page. So if you want to go check that out, head on over to those links at the end of this video and check that out. Let me explain this problem really quickly to you. So the idea of this problem is that the professor is grading students homework or assignments, and he is kind of using what I like to call a curve. If you've ever, you know, been in school, you may notice that some professors, instructors, teachers, whatever they're called to you are grading on a curve. So this kind of reminds me of something similar. Similar is not a word, but it reminds me of something similar. And so in this instance, it's saying each student is gonna have a grade. There's a couple of rules though, two rules exactly. So one of the rules is that if the value of the grade is less than 38, not including 38, less than 38, then there is no rounding and then it results in a failing grade. And then the second rule is that if the difference between the grade and the next multiple of five is less than three, then you're gonna round the grade up to the next multiple of five. So what does that mean, right? So basically an example I have here is, let's say the original grade is 84, then the next multiple of five is going to be 85 because multiples of five is like five, 10, 15, 20, etc. So in this case, it's 85. Then we will subtract 85 minus the original grade of 84. That is gonna give you one. And one is less than three. So since that is less than three, they're gonna go ahead and round the grade up. So hopefully that makes some sense to you. Um, if not, feel free to look through the problem as well. And then you could pause the video and take a look at the other two examples that'll give you a little bit more context to what they're asking for. So thank you guys so much for uh, clicking on the video. We're gonna go ahead and get started in solving this and we're gonna be using Python to do so. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna define a method. I'm gonna call it uh, grading students and I'm going to pass in an array of grades, which I'll define the array of grades later on, you will see. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we are going to go through the for loop. So we're just gonna make a for loop here, num in range of the length of the grades array. And that's going to give us uh, the index. And from the index, we can say grades of num. And then that will give us the value. So now I'm just checking to see if the value is less than 38. Then we're just gonna go ahead and continue. That's gonna bump us to the next iteration in this array, considering the directions say that if it's less than 38, then there's no rounding that occurs. It just goes to the next one. Now on line 17, we're gonna start getting the multiple of five. I imported math to be able to do math.ceiling. And so math.ceiling is going to round up because we wanna round up to the next multiple of five. So we're gonna take the value divided by five and then multiply it times five. That's gonna be what gets us to the next multiple of this original value. Then we're gonna take that multiple, subtract it minus the original value, which is grades of num. That's gonna give us the difference, okay? This difference is what we're gonna see if we're gonna say, okay, if it's less than three, then we're going to set this grades of num value to be multiple. So we're gonna set it to whatever multiple it is, which we calculated on line 18. Otherwise, we're just gonna continue and go to the next iteration. Remember, it says, hey, if it's less than three, we're gonna change it. If not, we're gonna leave it the same. So the continue is just gonna allow us to go to the next iteration. And then as you can see on line 26, I'm returning grades. I'm not 
creating a new array. I'm keeping the same array. And then on line 28, I am um, calling grading students and I'm adding some values there for the students. And then as you can see, we run this and we get back um, our values 75 67 40 and 33 so these are going to be your results if you want to test this out with different numbers feel free to do so I'm actually going to test this out with a few different numbers so um, I've added a few extra numbers here so I've said I've added 66 and 99 to the result or I mean to the grades here and as you can see, um, we get 75. This rounds up because it is two. The difference between 73 and 75 is two, so it rounds up. 67 stays the same because the difference between 67 and seven, or sorry, 67 and 70 is um, three, which we said it's less than three, not equal to three. And then 38, um, the difference here between 38 and 40 is 2. So we were going to round that one up to 40. And then the difference between, um, then we go to 33. And 33 is actually a failing grade. So we will not be rounding up there. And then, so it stays the same. And then 66, um, the next value up is going to be 70. 70 minus 66, as you know, is 4 and it is not four is not less than three so we will not be changing that value and then the last one i have here is 99 of course it rounds up to 100 and so that is only one point away so the difference is less than three so we're going to go ahead and round that one up so hopefully that makes sense to y'all hopefully y'all were able to follow along with it put any questions you have below if you have a different way of solving this feel free to share that as well if you're interested um remember i'll also have this code on my github page so make sure to check it out there if you are interested in that and also the question the original question that you could find on the website i will link it below under the resources uh, section of the description box below as always take care of yourself and be kind to others and i will see y'all in the next video bye